When on my head huge sorrows fell, I sought your heavenly aid. You saved my sinking soul from hell and death's eternal shade. Good evening. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm so glad you could join me. Thank you. This is evening night prayer for Monday, September the 2nd. And the scriptures for this service, Psalm 15, James chapter 2, verse 1 to 13. Our help is in the name of God Most High, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. O merciful God, we confess that we have sinned through our own fault in our thoughts and words and deeds and in what we have failed to do. We have not loved you with our whole hearts. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We beseech you, overlook our faults, cast our sins behind your back, that we may serve you and praise you all the days of our lives. Amen. And may Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins in Jesus' holy name. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, my God, who shall abide in your tabernacle? Who shall dwell on your holy mountain? Alleluia. Psalm 15. Alleluia, my God, who shall dwell in your tabernacle? Who shall dwell on your holy mountain? They that walk uprightly and work righteousness and speak the truth from their hearts. They that do not tell lies nor do evil to their friend nor disgrace their neighbor. In whose eyes the wicked is condemned but honors them that fear you. They that swear to do no wrong and keep their word. They that take no interest on a loan, nor take bribes against the innocent. They that do these things shall never be moved. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, my God, who shall abide in your tabernacle? Who shall dwell on your holy mountain? Alleluia. The lesson is from the book of the letter of James, chapter 2, beginning at verse 1. My brothers and sisters, do you, with your acts of favoritism, really believe in our glorious Lord Jesus Christ? For if a person with gold rings and in fine clothes comes into your assembly, and if a poor person in dirty clothes also comes in, and if you take notice of the one wearing the fine clothes and say, have a seat here, please, while to the one who is poor you say, stand there or sit at my feet, have you not made distinctions among yourselves? and become judges with evil thoughts. Listen, my beloved sisters and brothers, has not God chosen the poor in the world to be rich in faith and to be heirs of the kingdom that he has promised to those who love him? But you have dishonored the poor. Is it not the rich who oppress you? Is it not they who drag you into court? Is it not they who blaspheme the excellent name that was invoked over you? You do well if you really fulfill the royal law according to the scripture. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. But if you show partiality, you commit sin and are convicted by the law as transgressors. For whoever keeps the whole law but fails in one point has become accountable for all of it. 
For the one who said you shall not commit adultery also said you shall not murder. Now, if you do not commit adultery, but if you murder, you have become a transgressor of the law. So speak, and so act as those who are to be judged by the law of liberty. For judgment will be without mercy to anyone who has shown no mercy. Mercy triumphs over judgment. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions. We thank you, dear God, for bringing us safely to the end of this day and for all the blessings you have granted us. Deliver us from hardness of heart. Forgive us our sins and offenses that your light may show forth from us. We pray for all who seek you, O tender God, that they may find and be found. That your will may be done in all that we undertake to the benefit of ourselves, our families and friends, the church, and all people. Rejoicing in the fellowship of Francis and Claire and all your saints, let us commend one another and all of our lives to Christ our God. For the Mercy of God community, for the Sisters of St. Francis of Philadelphia, and for the First Baptist Church of Denver, that God, who's begun this ministry, may bring it to fulfillment. For the intentions of all who've asked our prayers, and for all of your intentions. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Give us the courage to make our vows and the strength to fulfill them that we may ever abide with you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Alleluia, O tender God, you have seduced me, and I was seduced. Alleluia. And the Almighty and merciful God, the source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us now and forever, amen. Alleluia.